Hello everyone. This is Monday, April the 8th. And yes, we are back with Mix to Mold. I am trying to get that definite deep uh, layered look that I'm getting on these stones like this. I want to get on the pieces like this. Uh, the samples of that and of that. And of course this and that that is what i'm looking for and uh, i'm going to keep trying until i get it we have the mold that i made uh i poured it in resin last time there's a piece on there that i can't get out of there there it goes and then we have this feather mold, and all I did was I took some, uh, actually, a navy blue eyeliner and some Sharpie to make a feathery center. And then I have this lovely bowl that just cries out for uh, casting powder. Uh, and I'm planning on putting a little bit of cacti on there to finish that up today. And uh, I have separated, these are those silicone glasses that I got, uh, They've already got water in them. Whether or not it's enough water, I don't know. I don't think this one probably does. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. I do have it on my uh, absorbent pad. We got those free. And they're great for this. Because uh, I tend to make a mess when I do this. I've also, uh, I have my popsicle sticks i have three of those i have my three micro brushes for my um mica powders i'm using all three colors that i have this is there's just a little bit of difference in the color this is more coppery this is more gold and then we have the silver and of course the white <clears throat> we will use on all of these okay <clears throat> on the first one and, and i'm just going to do the white in here it's just going to be white i believe now i could change my mind before this is over with and it probably will be because i think i need to start with a deep base and add color to that so we will take the darkest color that's what we'll do we'll take the darkest color that i have in each of these groupings <clears throat> and do that as the base or maybe i should take the lightest color and then drop the darker ones no okay no we're gonna go with a darker color and and my philosophy on that my my thought it's not philosophy my thought process on this is i'm gonna go with the the darker color because when i add the casting powder it's gonna lighten it up the most and then when you pour the <clears throat> the lighter colors in full strength you're gonna get that at a darker level so that is what my thought process on this is. So I have a grouping here. And these are the colors. We have brown, jujube red, medium yellow, and lotus red. And I want you to see the let me do it this way so you can see. And that may make you understand why I'm using that color group right there. Okay. And then the next group we've got is the green, the jade blue, the golden yellow and the fluorescent yellow that's the colors there and 
and I think my darkest color will probably be the jade blue. And of course, my darkest color here is going to be the brown. And then I have these colors over here. And I only have these. I only have three. So, and I'm going to add white. And I'm going to say the blue is going to be the color. I'm going to add those and the white in with the blue. And I will probably be adding white in each one of these. Okay. So let's get started. I have my powder over here. I will set it up here. That one's going to be this one. So let me change it around. Okay. And... I just put a squirt in there. I don't know exactly how many drops, but it is most definitely brown right now, as you can see. It will not stay that way. I'm adding one. Two. Three. Four. I'm going to have to add another one. Oh, I definitely like these glasses because it keeps it from splashing out because they're thinner at the top. And they're thicker at the bottom. So these are lovely for the casting powders. Okay, I put a total of five. I want to make sure it's mixed up really good. I don't want any lumps. And so I'm going to take my little mixer thing that I have down here somewhere. Here it is. These things. And I'm going to use that just to mix it up really good. And it does a really good job at doing that. Okay. Now. I'm going to twirl it around and try to get the air bubbles out. It does a really good job. I don't know if you can see that, but you, yeah, the twirling does a wonderful job. Okay, I am going to do this first. I am going to sprinkle. And then I'm going to put one, two, three, four. Four drops of the jujube red. And then I'm going to put three drops of the yellow. Let's do four. Okay. And then I'm going to put one, two, three, four, 
four of the white and then I'm going to just put two well I'm going to put three over on the edges and then I'm going to take my silicone tool I want you to see this I may have gotten too much gold we will see and now I am going to pour this back and forth back and forth and I'm going to put some more drops I'm putting more yellow I'm putting more white uh I think I got plenty of that okay and I think I need a little bit more of the gold okay and I'm going to swirl it again I almost dropped that okay and I don't have enough oh my I did not mix up enough. I thought I was going to have way too much. Okay. Well, we're going to take the same cup. This is going to be a little different. That's way too much. Let me get some of that out of there. This is a different color altogether. So I'm going to add some brown. I'm going to add more white. I'm going to add some more gold. And I am going to swirl it. And we are going to pour. And oh my word. This is still not enough. Oh my. This holds a bunch, a bunch. Okay, here we go. Where's the brown? Yeah, I want some brown. I want this darker. Here we go. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe get some light. I'm not going to swirl it. Okay, then we're going to pounce. We're going to do the shimmy shimmy shake. That's what we're going to do. I have a little bit left, but I didn't want to top it off. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I like this because it is so messy. It doesn't bother me being messy. Because it cleans up so good. Okay. It pretty much all comes out on its own. Okay. Get that one over there. You can have any waste. So, I'm going to give it a minute. So, these were the colors. Now I can put these up. And if I need to refer back to them, I have my video. I'm hoping that it dries enough for me to push this. I want it to go that way. But it's not real easy to push. Okay, but I got it. Okay, this one is going to be... These colors, they're going to be bright. And I don't think I'm going to have enough. Oh, that bothers me. Okay, we're going to do this. So I feel like I have a clean surface to start with. <laughs> yep. Okay, let me let me see how much I think that's gonna be enough. Okay, what did I say? The predominant I think we're gonna put the predominant color. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna do the predominant color as the blue.
This is called Royal Blue. And I think it's going to take five. Which I've got a new one that I've opened over here. Because I knew that I was going to need more than what. I still haven't heard back from Breary, so I'm thinking maybe they're not going to follow through. Normally, I, I hear back from the company way before now, which is okay. Maybe she realizes I'll buy it no matter what anyway, so she doesn't have to send it to me. And she still gets free videos. <laughs> and she's right. And it's because I like the product. I didn't do this to get free supplies. Okay, I've got the new, and I buy it by the five pound bucket. And I go through it like crazy, y'all. I do. It's a good thing it's been on sale. And no, if I had to pay $30 for it, I'd wait for it to go back on sale. I'd just go back to resin or something. As much as I love it, we all have budgets we have to keep. And I don't know. You know, all these may be ugly, ugly, ugly. I want to do a black one too. I do. I want to do a black one. But right now I want to see if I can't get that layer. And I don't think I got that layer on that because I had to stop and add more. So I don't think I'm going to get the, the layer effect that I wanted in there. And I'm hoping that this is going to be enough to fill that whole thing up. I need a little bit more. It basically is five full uh, scoops of this with water that I'm adding. I couldn't tell you how much water, though. I sort of just look at the... And I'm sorry, I guess I probably should give you the exact measurements, but every time I do that, it doesn't work out for me. So, y'all just follow the manufacturer uh, instructions, and if it doesn't work out with you, uh, work out for you, then just play with it until you get uh, what does work out for you. Okay, I've never used this. So I'm doing this to get the bubbles out. And I want you to, it does definitely, it takes them all in the center. And then as you can see, they start popping. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a, a really great scientific explanation for this. For the, the how the chemicals react. But I don't know what it is. All I know is it does work. There's a big one there, and I just popped it. Okay, and now we're going to go with the silver first. I've not used the silver. It may not do the same thing. It may just come out looking like gray. Who knows? We will in a few minutes, won't we? Yes, indeedy, we will. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put... The fluorescent red, which comes out pink. One, two, three, four, five, six. I put six drops. Then I'm going to put some white. I'm not putting it on top of the color. I'm putting it in between. You know how they do blooms and they put the colors in between the other colors? That's basically what I'm doing in this thing. Not to say it's anything like a bloom, okay? But I'm just trying to give you, most people 
have seen. And I think Julie is the one that's the most well known for her blooms. Um, and, and she does it that way. So, you know, in reference to that. And I am I'm adding a little bit of the same color. I didn't do that in the other one. But I want to do it in this one. Okay. That's what it looks like on the inside. A big old mess. And that's what it looks like right now. I'm going to have way too much. Way, way too much. Okay, let me find something else. But we're, we're going to we're going to keep adding color to this. Maybe not the same color. And maybe not in the same way. But color. I guess we'll do a tray. Okay, let me go get something. Okay, we'll do this, even though this is not clean. Okay. And it's not. Let me try to. Okay, we don't have time. We've just got to pour this. Oh my, this is going to be bright and loud. That was a lot more than what we needed for that. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. I don't know. But I want to see. And if I don't do that, I won't know. shake these so let's just keep our fingers and toes and legs and arms and everything we can crossed but we don't get a bunch of air bubbles in that okay Put this over here. Just set it over here. And we're going to get rid of this one and put a new paper towel down. colors because we have already used them and we have that we have a new where is 
is. Oh, I've lost my alcohol spray. Oh, there it is. I'm just trying to clean up the uh, the stick that I use. And I am going to wipe off the white because we're going to use my gloves. Or let me get new gloves on. These are the cheapo things. Let me just get new gloves on. Big. These came with something. And I thought, well, I'll use them. I'll use these. I don't need to use the nitrile with these. And so, okay, this one's got a bunch of different colors. Did I have that many color? Uh uh. No, I didn't have this many colors out. Somehow the colors I've already used got over here, didn't they? It was... Is that medium? Let's go with that route. And this is going to be the feather, which is going to be a little tricky because I'm going to try to get it to go that way. You know, pour it that way and then pour the other. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, and so would we decide the blue, right? The jade blue would be, or would it be green? Or maybe I should do this with the... Hmm. No, let's go with the... Let's go with the... The jade blue. Although I really like the deep jade blue. And it's not going to be that deep. Once we put the powder in it. Oh, that is not the colors I was expecting with that. Those are not, I'm not a fan of those colors at all. I just want you to know, I'm not a big purple fan. Uh, but those colors, they're, they're, oh, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yep, it pops in my head, it comes out my mouth. I know a lot of people like those colors, okay? My granddaughter is one of them. She loves purple. I have just never... I'm more of a neutral. You know, I, I like color every once in a while. I like a little pop of color on a neutral background. Does that make sense? I like to accent with color. I don't like the color to be the forefront, I guess. But I like to wear bright colors, you know. Uh, but I like to wear all black sometimes, too, you know. Uh, uh. But no, that that's, that is, that, the, ooh, no. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Maybe this one. And I think I should have probably put silver in this one. I think the silver would have been pretty in this one, actually. But I don't know what the silver is going to look like. Oh, I don't know. If it looks like that, that... Ew, I'm tempted to put silver in this. And I am tempted to just do a 
I might change that around a little bit. I'm putting silver in this. Maybe way too much silver. Okay. I'm putting white. I'm going to put a little bit of green. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this, but I'm not putting the bright. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to, let me figure this out. Nope, I need it. Okay. See the powder? No, that's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, there's no way that I can control that. Oh, I hate that. And I, I, I made way too much. And look at that bubble. Nope. Oh, poo poo hiss. <laughs> no, I'm not going to like this color either. And yes, I have some color left. So we're going to put some white. We're going to put some more jade green. I mean jade blue. And we're going to put some more green. We're just going to load it up in there. What the heck, right? We're going to put some of this. Because this is just left over. We're going to put some of this. We're going to put some of the the gold that I didn't put in. We're going to mix it all together and make a big old slop. We're going to pour it in something. Let's see if we can pour it in this and see if it's enough. Probably not. But we're going to try... Oh, and see, I just poured junk in there, and oh my word, I, I need to not think, I, I need to not overthink this, because I think that's going to be my favorite piece right there. And I was just throwing crap in there. Okay, I'm just trying to get it mixed really good. That's jade green. I'm trying to get more jade green. Okay. And I don't know, what did I throw in there? I threw more... Jade green, right? There's a bunch of stuff. And more green. And white. Which, weirdly, the white didn't show up. And neither did the yellow, which is sort of strange. But I put it all in there. Uh, 
Okay. And I'm just mixing it up just like I did before. But I didn't put any more gold. Okay, let me see, do I have enough to put a little bit in this rock area? Okay, I will be back when they're ready to come out. Okay, I'm back. They've only been in there for about, I'm going to say 30 minutes. That is still really warm. I'm going to attempt to uh, take these out. I don't have much hope for this one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to like this one at all. Only because <laughs> these aren't my colors. Okay, we'll look at. Well, at least. I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm getting there. You, you see the. Yeah, not my colors, but. Uh, yeah, we're getting there, y'all. We are, we are definitely, and I, I know somebody would love this. And the design, because I ran, you can see exactly where I ran those. So if I'd done it the other way. So that tells me you do have a little bit control of, of what's going on with the design in this, which is really cool to know. So, Okay. It's bright. Okay, this is the mold that I made. Now, this is still quite warm. And the only thing that I did this with was resin. So, I don't know how this is going to work. I love the fact this is so flexible. This stuff is so flexible. Uh, very, very, very flexible. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting it, y'all. Like the rocks. We are getting there. Now, do I like these colors? No. But do I like the fact of the layers and stuff? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. So, yeah, we we are definitely getting there. Okay, now I'm a little excited. I'm afraid this feather is going to be disappointing, though. And I probably shouldn't take it out this soon because of the tip... And this end here. I'm probably going to break that tip. Let me see if I can stretch it out enough. Cause if it had been in the mold for over an hour, I, it wouldn't stress me out as much. Because this stuff is strong. But when you're trying to take it out of a mold like this, and it's not been the full 60 minutes... Then I get a little concerned about breaking something. Uh, especially when it's, uh, you know, the tip is, is not real thick. Oh, I got it out there. Oh, that did not come off of there, though. Okay, let's look at these colors. Uh, okay, I do not like the silver in this. Oh, I wish I'd not had the silver in it. Look, I love this color. 
I don't like this, which I, I can, it, it left craters, which I don't mind that either, okay, and, and I can rectify that. In fact, I wonder if, let's just see, let's just see something real quick, see if we can rectify it right now without having to go much further, and yes, I am going to say in because I, I want to get it off if I can. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can get the sanding paper in there enough to sand it. Sanding paper is not doing as good as the other sanding paper that I had, but I'm out of that. Okay, it is. Okay, I am getting it off. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm drenching it now with water. I'm okay with that. I am. Uh, and I don't really mind that either. That might bother some people, but to me that just makes it look old. I, I don't mind stuff like that at all. Uh, I'm glad it's not like that. I think that is way too much. And that might come off when I sand it. What happened to the piece? Oh, there it is. Or maybe not. It is really easy to sand when it's this soft. We'll see. But, um, yeah, okay. So far, I'm ha I don't like those colors, but I love the design, and somebody would love those colors. So, uh, that's okay. I am, I am happy with that piece. Even though I wish that had have come up on that. And I'll show you what I use, and let's try this. And these are almost like, uh, this is not the one I use, though. Uh, these are almost like those metallic rub-ons I was showing you the other day. I can't find it now. What did I do with it? I know this was not it. It's too blue. Oh, this will work though. Yeah, I just wanted something to accent. I didn't want it. You see what it does? It just gives it a, a like a shadow. Okay, see, I like that. And a little bit of it did go on there. And you can do it as light or dark as you want. But, see, I like that. I like what it does there. And I think I'd sort of 
like it out that way too yeah I knew I would and I'm just barely putting it on there just give it sort of a hint it's not a full line and it's not all the way well that one is it's about the time I was fixing to say it's not all the way to the end then poof it goes all the way to the end but that's okay and you can take part of it off if you want it off and I sort of do want that off Oh, and that's not coming off. So just be careful. Let's see if... Oh, you can sand it off, though. Okay. That's cool. And I would tell you to work with this when it is soft. Because that way you can control how much or how little you want on there. And I do like that. And if you've got colored eyeliner at home, just try it. See if you like it. I'm telling you, it's not going to come off once you do it. Because um, I'm having to sand it off. And, oh yes, I, I really uh, like the difference. And as you can see, I'm not putting a definite line. Dan will be calling here in a minute because he'll be on his way home. Okay. So, yeah. I, I like the lines in it. I like the definition that it put in there. And, you know, you, you can just do what you want to do. And see, I like that too. I'm not doing it all over. And there you have it. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that one. Yeah. Eyeliner. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay. Oh, let's get this one out. This is a smaller one. This is one I have high hopes for. Oh, this is not coming out easy. Again, I have never used 
this one uh, except for with resin. Uh, that's going to need some cleanup. <clears throat> but look how wonderful. Now, this is where I had to pour it, where I ran out. But I, I, you know, I'm okay with that. It gave it a totally different... Oh, yeah, see. Uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Is some of this going to come off until I seal it? Yes. Uh, that allows me to uh, look at... No air bubbles, y'all. Have you noticed that? None of this stuff has got air bubbles. Well, that's, got, that's from the silver uh, uh, mica powder. But none of this has got air bubbles in it, which is amazing. Uh, uh, that, this is lovely. This is, this is, I think, my one of my favorite pieces so far, to date. I hope, I, I hope y'all are seeing this. Let me see if I can get the light turned up. I hope y'all are seeing the layers. Oh, this is just wonderful. I am, I am very, very happy. You know, the funny thing is, is that's very similar. Oh, it's because it was the same color. Okay. Duh. <laughs> no, okay. Now, this is a biggie. This is the one that I really thought would be okay and now I'm second guessing it and it's heavy and it took a lot and I think this is going to be more red and I was gonna I was hoping it was going to be more brownish tone uh, so let's just take a look but the whole purpose was trying to get that massive layer look in these pieces what do you think y'all you think we achieved oh my word Look at that. Oh my. I mean, it's going up like this. And then it's like I intentionally knew what I was doing. And got it to go sideways. All the way. Yep, boy, that's me. I just know exactly. I know how to move this to make it. No, I do not. This was all by... <laughs> this was all by accident. Uh... Boy, but it sure does look like that was an intentional thing, doesn't it? Oh, I couldn't pass for a bad... I don't like that, but I can sand that down and get that gone. But look at that. Oh, okay. Let, let's just hope it looks just at least this nice on the, the front side, right? Oh, I hate to turn it over. I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do y'all think? You think it's going to look as good? Or you think it's going to be a disappointment? Okay, here we go. One. Oh, two. Oh, y'all. Okay. Just flip it. Oh, oh my word. Oh, that looks like stone. Oh, my word. Yes, it does. Uh, we're getting there, y'all. Oh, my word. Look at, look. Oh, Look! <laughs> oh, I'm I'm a happy camper. Oh my word! Okay, okay. Wait, yes, we are. We are most definitely get. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my word, that is gorgeous. Oh, I hope you're seeing that. Look at look. This is what takes. Thousands and thousands of years for rocks to get that kind. Oh, my word. Oh, oh, this is just, this is incredible. This is incredible. And I love the fact that the, the inside is not like this. I love the fact that it frames it. I mean, okay, I couldn't do this again for nothing. I wish I could, but I do know what I did to get this look. 
but the chances of it coming out like this again are slim to none but at least we're getting there and at least now i know and hopefully y'all know now too what you need to do to start getting this kind of look if that's what you're looking for i am and i am so so happy with this outcome oh i'm oh yes i am happy with every piece but yeah that's my favorite and then this is my second favorite and then of course and it's only because i don't like those colors i would have absolutely gone ooh 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 ooh, ooh if this has been a different color <laughs> Oh, but yeah, and uh, no, I'm not putting cacti there. I'm not covering an, a, a little, not even the teeniest, tiniest little area of this. It's just too gorgeous. It's going to stay exactly that way. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Yep, yep, and yep. See, if I remove those, that to me would have been the perfect pour, okay? That right there. Perfect pour. But somebody somebody will love this, okay? It's just not my thing. But I got the designs. So I'm happy about that, okay? So there is something positive. Those are just not my colors. Uh, but, you know, I, I know people like colors like that. So I have to do th things in all directions. Even if it's not my thing okay i hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed doing it and as much and as excited as i was for the outcome uh i hope maybe you learned something and um uh, i would love if you would leave a thumbs up like button i would love for you to hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed um it's free it doesn't cost you anything I and also our Facebook group. Our Facebook group is growing. We had an open chat last night. I'm spontaneous. And, and I do the Facebook group the same way I do my channel. Uh, last night I was down here. It was late. And I thought, oh, well, let's just see if anybody else is up at 12 o'clock at night. And, of course, there was. And we started a chat. Um, and that's how we get to know each other. And it's more personable on the Facebook group. And so I would love for each and every one of you to, to come join us. Um, and uh, we, we've got an exceptional group of people over on our Facebook group. I have been beyond blessed. And I am very, very thankful for the group that we do have. Um, and if you would like to share this that would be great uh that would allow other people to see it and the notification bell will uh notify you that i've got a new video out i'm trying desperately to do uh at least one video a day uh this one you're not going to see until tuesday morning i'm doing this uh before Dan gets home from work, and I will get it uploaded, and I'll get the thumbnail done, um, and I so want to just throw it out there right now, because I'm so, so excited about the outcome of this. I, I, I'm ecstatic, but I'm going to wait, because I, I already put one up this morning, and so I'm going to, um, do this one, uh, for Tuesday morning. Oh, did I show you? This from last night. Let me show you. Uh, and I'll hold it up and I'll move it around. This is dry. Okay. This, look, look. It's it's not going. Look out on the edges. Well, these are not in there. They'll fall out. But look on the edges. Look how cool that is draping over and down. And it's hard. It's firm. You know? It, it's not going anywhere. And look at the ripple in the water. I mean, it, it all just came together, and it all just works, and I love this piece, too. Uh, and I, I do, I get so excited when, when I do projects that I personally love myself. It, it motivates me, it, it gets me to where I just don't want to stop. I want to be down here all the time, which I can't be. You know, I have other responsibilities. My poor online retail stores have just gone down to nothing because I sort of just put them on the back burner. And, and I've got to find time for that. I do, because that's income that we, we really, um, 
counted on and and i'm still building my youtube uh you, <laughs> youtube does not uh generate a whole lot of money and that is not the reason why i'm doing it if it was i would have given up youtube uh six months after i started uh, i do it because i love the craft i do it because i love the people and i do it because i have such an awesome group of people that is that's made my channel what it is and and I'm very blessed and that's why I do it but I've got to figure out a schedule because I do have to get back into doing uh, my online stores too um, it's almost nothing uh, coming in from those anymore and it's because I'm not putting any time into it um, all my focus has been on this or my grandchildren or I do have a husband too, you know, and I do have a house that I have to clean and I do have to cook and I, I have a life outside of this, but YouTube's pretty much taken over 90% of it. Um, and so I have to sort of just rein myself in a little bit. Um, so, you know, if, if for some reason, uh, I don't get a, a video out every day, that is why. And uh, the eclipse was a, a boo-boo here. It was cloudy. It didn't really do much. Ashley was in school. She got uh, she had some solar glasses, and she got a couple of really cool pictures. But we didn't see much. We were supposed to. It was supposed to be ninety-eight percent totality here, and and but it was so cloudy. We you know it just didn't happen here. But we got to see it seven years ago, so that was pretty cool. And I hope if if it was somewhere where uh, you live you got to experience it because it is a really cool thing to experience um and um i haven't forgotten about the the drawing i'm hoping that ashley and i can sit down tonight that's why i'm trying to get this done before dan gets home so we can sit down later on tonight and and get that done and then i'll throw a little um short video up about that too um Alrighty, I hope y'all have a great rest of uh, the evening. This is Monday, and uh, this will be out Tuesday morning, though. And then I will be doing another one tomorrow also. Uh, that will probably be out Wednesday. And um, that's how I'm trying to do it. Getting it done and then scheduling it for the next morning. And doing it early in the morning, because I know some of y'all schedule you know, if you work part-time or if you're working later in the afternoon or you go to work in the morning and then you have free time in the evening or if you're up, you know, everybody's got such a different schedule. So I, I just feel like if I get it out by 7.30 in the morning, then the people who can watch it earlier can watch it and the people who can't can watch it later. Um, and so that's what I'm going to try to do uh, and see how that works. And I'm going to stop yapping. I could sit here and yap all night long, but I'm just going to make myself stop and say thank you again, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.